what is our process for repairing credit? What is our process for helping people with financial literacy? My name is Charles Njoya. I am a credit repair specialist. I am a financial advisor. I am also a certified public accountant and I help people also uh, build their wealth. What I'm talking about here is what is the process we use in taking you from a credit score of say 500 to a credit score of 700 and above. The process is simple. I tell people all the time that credit is an interactive process. It's a process that's not only about me, it's also about you. So you have to understand what we are doing on our end. If you understand how it works, you can be able to do it yourself for yourself. What we do when we bring people, when we have our first clients for credit repair is, we first of all have a 30 minute consultation with them. We talk to them about the credit process. We tell them how credit works. We explain to them what are the five major components of your credit. Number one, which is your payment history. That accounts for about 35% of your credit score. Remember, credit starts from 300 generally to about 800. And within that 300 to 800, there's 550 points. Those 550 points are what you're trying to get maximum on so that you can get to that 850 credit score. And to do that, 35% of that number is made up of your credit history. 30% of that number is made up of your debt utilization, credit utilization, how you're using your credit card. Are you maxing your credit card or are you minimizing the use of your credit cards? Credit mix, what are the different trade lines that you have? Someone who has a mortgage, a, a car note, credit card, and different types of revolving credit, it is always going to be at a higher advantage with credit than someone who has none of these items. So your credit mix is going to be play a significant part and that accounts for about 15% of your credit score. Then you have something that you call inquiries. When you make inquiries, like you're trying to get a credit card, you're trying to get something. When you do those inquiries, it's going to account for 10% of your credit score. And then the last one, but not the least, is going to be what you call the age of your credit. I think I missed up something there, but the age of your credit will normally account for 15% of your credit score. Meaning that if you have a credit card which has 10% or you have any trade line which, is, which has been there for 10 years or for five years, or some people have cards that have been there for 20 years and have been used efficiently for 20 years, they will bomb your credit faster than someone who just opened a credit card today. Those five things are essentials. Those are the elements that constitute your credit score. No school is gonna teach you about these in the United States. No place is there that's gonna teach you. If you understand how to leverage all those four items of payment history, credit utilization, mix of your credit, age of your credit and your uh, inquiries, if you understand how to manage these tools properly, then you are going to definitely, definitely be on a good path of making those things happen for you. We will teach you about those five components of your credit score so that you know it in a way that you can do it yourself. And then once we have taught you that, we are going to open an account for you. We have a specific dedicated website for you where you can actually access your credit and see how your credit is evolving. If you were to work with us for your credit score, uh, for your credit improvement, number one thing that we're going to get from you, we're going to get, to get your ID, we are going to get your uh, utility bill, because those are the elements that when we start disputing your credit, we're going to use them together to send them to the credit bureau. We have you when you get registered with our company for credit or for credit monitoring or for credit repair once we register you on your on our database the next thing we do is that we will educate you on the credit process then we will pull your credit score your credit uh, report through a company that we call identity iq they will pull your credit report from all the three companies once we have your credit report we will go through every item on your credit report it is very important that you understand your credit report and just so you know you are entitled to one credit report free every year i will send the link right there to where you can get your annual credit report for free once you have your credit report 
Look at all the items that are on your credit. 90% of items that we see on people's credits are either mistaken, are either they're in error, or they are identity theft, or many things that you don't even know about. So I encourage everybody to always take some time to go through their credit report. Once you have gone through your credit report, we select all those items that are either not yours, are either wrong, or your identity is wrong, or anything that is wrong, and then we'll dispute them. The law requires those credit bureaus to make sure that everything that is on your credit report is correct. If there's any error on your credit report, by law, they have 30 days from when they receive a letter from us notifying them to remove that item. The credit bureaus have 30 days to remove those items. There are three credit bureaus that we send letters to. Once we have identified all those items with you, we've discussed them, we send them personalized letters to the credit bureaus, asking them, disputing every item on the credit report. Then they will now go through, there's a system for them, they have 30 days to go through that and remove either. There are two ways, there are only two things that should happen for them to remove the item. Number one is the law requires that every item on your credit report must be accurate. Accurate means that your name is not spelled wrong, your date of birth is not spelled wrong, addresses are not wrong, or any employer is not wrong. Anything that is on there that has an error, we will remove it. The second thing is, it has to be verifiable. So even if you have those items and they are right on your credit, it is your responsibility at the credit bureau to give me supporting evidence. So I will ask you if I disputed them and you told me, oh, those numbers are correct, then I will ask you to justify them. And if they cannot justify them, they have to remove them. So it must be correct and verifiable. So if there's any item that is unverifiable, it must be removed. Once we do that, we will send the first round of letters. We will send a second round of letters to the credit bureaus. And if we are not getting any results, we will contact the federal agency that is there to regulate the credit bureaus and report that there is something wrong with my credit report. And when they contact the credit bureaus, they will be forced to remove it. Again, this is a complicated process, but we can help you to do it yourself, or you can help us do it together with you to remove this item. I just showed you some instances where we removed 145 items on a credit report in one month. So it is easy for us to remove that because we know the law. We go by the law and we make sure all those items are done in a correct way. This is Charles Njoya. I am from CHN Financial. If you need any information, contact us. Go to my YouTube page. Go to my Instagram page. Go to my Facebook page. Go to my TikTok page. Or you go to my website. You can contact us. Leave comments below. Subscribe to our channel and we will be able to educate you on credit and how you can help yourself into that financial freedom that you so much desire. Remember, this is the most wealthy country in the world. This is the country with the largest capital access in the world. And if you're here, there is no reason you should complain. There is no reason you can live in the richest country in the world and be poor. We are here to help you get to your financial freedom. Thank you. Have a blessed day.